Beth, I know I tried to play it cool at first, but I fell in love with you from the very start. You're smart, funny, outgoing, supportive, and always make sure I've eaten a great meal. For these reasons and countless more, I'm honored that you've chosen me to be your life partner. Greggy, where do I begin? I have always dreamt of my wedding day and who would be the man of my dreams that I get to call my husband. You have exceeded all my expectations. You are hardworking, motivated, determined, handsome, kind-hearted, a protector, and the cleanest person I know. I vow to be the husband you've always dreamed of having, a husband who loves every part of you and supports your every dream. I will laugh with you, cry with you, and celebrate with you. I promise to love the person you become just as much as I love the person standing in front of me today. Welcome to the wedding of Elizabeth Hahn and Gregory Medelak. And on behalf of the bride and groom, welcome to Two Brothers Roundhouse here in Aurora. The bride and groom envisioned sharing their special day at a historic and unique venue and, after careful deliberation, found the perfect fit at this beautiful building which was constructed over 150 years ago to serve the Aurora Chicago Railroad. Going forward, however, this building will no longer be just a relic of Aurora's history or just a brewery but a place for the bride and groom to share a beer and meal and finally reflect on what will be one of the best days of their lives. It is here that we celebrate the love and bond the two have shared for eight years and will promise to continue to share for the rest of their lives. Greg, as we continue to grow in our lives together, I promise to give you all of my words when needed and to share in the silence when they are not, to pick you up if you are down and to love you unconditionally. I love you so much, and I can't wait to officially be your wife and start this next chapter with you. You give me the motivation to be the best man that I could be, and I promise to show you how much I love and cherish you through my words and actions. I vow to work with you to build a marriage of teamwork, knowing that together we can build a life far better than either of us can imagine alone. Having exchanged their vows and rings in our presence, Beth and Greg, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Greg, kiss your bride. It is my honor to present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Medelac. become a beautiful and strong woman and I know dad would be proud of who you become today. And I think a large part of that is due to my mother, Claire. You would not be the amazing person you are today without her guidance, wisdom, huge heart, and of course your potty mouth. <laughs> Claire, thank you for raising the best friend a girl could ever ask for. Beth, I am so proud to be your friend throughout all these years. You are the most charismatic person I know, and we are all so blessed and lucky to know you. I cherish all the milestones that we have experienced together in life. So a tradition for me to give some type of sage or advice or whatever about marriage, but I am not married yet. So instead, I'll talk about something I know a little bit more about, and that's aviation. You know, a good captain will generally say things like, have fun, be safe, look out for each other. Uh, but in all seriousness, I'm honored to be here. It's been a great time. On behalf of the wedding party, uh, all of us, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. So I'd like to propose a toast to uh, Greg and Beth. I wish you both years of endless laughs, 
prosperity, and most importantly, health. Let's raise a glass, everyone. The bride and groom, happiness, health. Cheers, everyone. As our favorite rapper of all time, Macklemore, once said, this is the moment, tonight is the night. I can't wait to tear up the dance floor with all of you guys like the ceiling can't hold us. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Madeline.